I know most people are like, oh, but it's just an intolerance, like it's not an allergy, so you're not gonna die. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe because I upload videos every single week. I'm gonna be talking about my intolerance test, but before that, um, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor or claiming to know anything a professional medic would know. If you do have any health issues, please go and consult a doctor. And yeah, I'm just here to share my experience with you and hopefully it will help give you like a rough idea if you're having the same problems. I have been suffering. <laughs> I have been just having problems with my, my overall health, uh, especially my digestion and yeah I've, I've been having like severe constipation, bloating um, and skin problems and if I don't take care of my body I would have a really weak immune system like I could get tonsillitis really easily, UTI, um, just like infection, sinus infections and yeah I even had the yeast infection for like five months which is crazy so I know that I do have problems with my health which I need to fix. None of it is super severe but it's enough for me to question what the hell is wrong with my health and I am really health conscious so yeah. So at the start when I was having all these health problems I constantly went to the GP in the UK and did so many scans and endoscopy and just like so many things. I went to the doctors like almost every week and they kept giving giving me medication which just wasn't working like it would solve the problem then and then a few weeks later my problems would come back so yeah they just gave me tons of antibiotics like for constipation they would just give me laxatives and they gave me all these pills colorful pills i didn't know what i was taking i didn't know what the ingredients was so it was just I just felt like it was doing more harm than good so I stopped that I completely stopped seeing the doctors that was just a personal choice for me like there are amazing doctors out there who could probably cure you but I just felt like for me if they're gonna constantly give me antibiotics I don't want to go anymore and um, I decided to do my own research like I would type out all my symptoms I made a list and and just you know studied myself like why am I getting this and I would read other people's blogs on like how they treated themselves and yeah I would just gather information from different sources and see if it made sense to me and yeah the main reason why I really research a lot is because of my skin and I'm gonna do another video on my skin because I I, I do have this skin problem which they call rosacea and acne and I've been having skin problems for the past 10 years so I do want to do a separate video on that. And right now I'm just going to talk about food and my gut and yeah. I, I think it relates to be honest like if you clean your inside first then maybe your skin will improve because that's like the last organ that gets affected uh, so I do want to fix the inside of my body and yeah so back to what I was saying I did so much research and I changed my diet so many times like I was vegan for three years and then I went to being pescatarian because I was traveling and like it's kind of impossible to be vegan in Asia and um, I just constantly changed my diet and I ate, ate very clean like I would eat a lot of salads and greens and have smoothies and I would do everything that I thought was good until last year I had reoccurring yeast infection for five months which is pretty ridiculous I was like why is this happening to me when I'm eating so healthy? Like it didn't make any sense to me. But then when I went on this website, I think it's called like candidadiet.com or something like that, it said that you should cut out gluten and, what is it? Like cut out 
gluten and many other things so i i tried that and it actually solved the issue because before i went to a gynecologist i went to um the pharmacy and i would get like medication but the problem just kept coming back every month so yeah i decided to cut out gluten cut out other things and stick to this diet for this candida diet for like three months and my yeast infection went away so then i thought wait like why did cutting out gluten help so much and i also realized that cutting out gluten improved my skin as well so when i did further research i was like maybe i'm intolerant to these things like it's not allergy because allergy is a instant reaction everything was pointing fingers towards doing an intolerance test the amazing thing is that being on a plant-based diet actually did help solve a few issues that i had with my body like i was told i had pcos then i changed my diet and then a month later i went back to have a scan and they were like it's gone um which is pretty amazing because like i know people who have pcos and maybe my one was like in the first stage but yeah it was pretty easy for me to get rid of um i had irregular periods and that went yeah so i just felt like being on this plant-based diet was helping me but my problems weren't 100% gone like maybe 50% was cured and honestly like my because my problems aren't severe um i think any normal person would ignore these symptoms but because i am so health conscious and for my job i have to have this perfect skin and like a good shape and I can't be bloated all the time and I can't have like redness and acne all over my face so that's why I really looked into my health try and fix a problem and yeah finally let's talk about my result so I did my IgG antibody intolerance test in Hong Kong um i went to a private doctor and this cost around 300 pounds for me i only did the 100 to say something like 108 or something different foods whereas you could do 200 and something and it's like double the price i don't have that kind of money so i just did the 300 pound one um and yeah honestly the results shocked me because i i thought i was intolerant to gluten and that was correct but I was intolerant to so many other things as well and like really random stuff which kind of doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> let me just tell you the severe ones so when you get an intolerance test um, I don't think you can see this but when you get an intolerance test report there is the strong reaction very strong reaction category then strong reaction moderate reaction weak reaction no reaction and the ones in the very strong reaction category is something that can't really be fixed like once you're intolerant to that you should kind of completely stop eating it yeah completely stop eating it until your health is totally cleared so yeah gluten was one that includes oats um, wheat flour and I'm surprisingly allergic to not allergic intolerant to soy um, and I eat so many soy products because I am half Japanese so like tofu is just my staple diet but I can't have that anymore uh, lentils beans legumes yeah can't have that anymore um dairy and eggs which i cut out anyway so like that wasn't a big deal to me but yeah eggs is really random because i can have the egg yolk but i can't have the egg whites and usually it's the other way around for people so i'm just not going to eat eggs because i can't be bothered to you know just take out the yellow part but yeah fruits was oranges and i ate tons of oranges because i wanted to boost my immune system and get that vitamin c in but can't have oranges anymore for nuts it's like most nuts like almonds cashew nuts um i think walnuts or something yeah there's a lot of nuts that i can't eat so yeah with intolerance results like it's 
everybody you realize everybody's body is different and can handle different things that's why you you should never compare yourself to other people and be like oh well my brother or sister can eat this so like how come you know i can't have that and even vegetables um you know how i can't have gluten anymore so i thought oh well at least i can have the spiralized courgette zucchini spaghetti thing i can't have that either because i'm intolerant to courgettes zucchini yeah see because i can't have soy sauce anymore i also can't have wasabi because it says here that i'm intolerant to horseradish so if i do go and have sushi it has to be very plain i can't dip it in anything can't even have the gluten-free soy sauce because I'm gluten, I have to eat gluten free stuff, but I'm intolerant to soy sauce, so soy, yeah. The and vegetables, carrots, turnip, red cabbage, garlic, thyme, dates, just all these things that I was constantly eating because I thought it was good for me. Garlic is very good for uh, getting rid of inflammation in your body, and I felt like of my skin and inflammation like garlic would be good I, I used to eat heaps of garlic i can't do that anymore and yeah so so the doctor told me to stick to the weak reaction foods and the no reaction foods write it down on a piece of paper like this and this is my new shopping list um and yeah she told me to stick to this for three months if my skin and digestive issues improve then she said I can introduce another thing which is in the moderate reaction for example garlic is in the moderate reaction so she was like maybe you can introduce garlic like slowly in each meal but only stick to garlic and see if your skin gets bad or your or you start having problems again so I'm currently on this very strict diet where I'm sticking to this stuff. Seeing a Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine doctor as well to see if he can like balance my body and fix the insides faster. And so far it's hard to see my results. So I will make another video when all my problems have gone. Yeah, Chinese medicine is like a holistic approach to fixing your your insides and seeing because I don't want to take antibiotics anymore and just other medication where I don't understand the ingredients I'd rather just stick with something very natural so that's why I'm doing Chinese medicine and um, there is the option of doing acupuncture and like the cupping detox cupping thing and just many other ways of treating your body but right now i'm just sticking to this powder that he makes and i would put it in hot water and drink that that's supposed to kind of balance your body yeah if i do start seeing results and i do feel like it's fixing me um then i will do a video but i know chinese medicine does take a couple of months but they are well known because well first they've been around for two thousand years and second they get to the root problem they like fix the root cause so that's why it takes some time and it's just plants and herbs that you're drinking so i know most people are like oh but it's just an intolerance like it's not an allergy so you're not gonna die but um the, the problem with like intolerance is that it is a, a severe issue as well because for example if i just continue to eat gluten that could lead to getting holes in my gut which is some people call it um, leaky gut syndrome and that will lead to a buildup of um, bacteria and yeast which then eventually will go into your bloodstream and yeah it will affect you so much that you could end up with celiac disease but yeah it will just lead to a problem later in life and I'm trying to prevent that from happening like I don't want any type of disease later on so it's really important to stick to a diet that the doctor told you to stick to especially if 
you have so many intolerances and even just the smallest amount like I've had people like oh it's just a tiny bit like just a tiny bit of soy sauce won't kill you but honestly I even the tiniest bit of soy sauce I realized like I would get a reaction the next day like my face will be completely red yeah don't listen to other people basically just like do your research and fix your problems yourself and only you know your body so listen to your body and get it fixed don't listen to others and another thing I know that a lot of people take digestive enzyme supplements to aid their digestion apparently that really helps to break down the food when you have intolerances and that's something that I might do later because I'm taking Chinese medicine right now I can't actually take supplements um, and also I don't really want to rely on su supplements for the rest of my life I want to like fix my body and have a normal life and also another thing with supplements is actually that they might not be gluten free, soy free, dairy free you would have to really look into the type of supplements that you get and they a lot of supplements that I used to take like um, multivitamin and probiotics does include the stuff that I can't have so that's why I've completely stopped taking those yeah I mean I will do research on what supplements I can take later and if I find any good ones then I will make a video on that uh, but for now I'm just relying on uh, Chinese medicine <clears throat> oh my god my throat I'm just relying on the uh, Chinese medicine to fix me <laughs> and see how that goes so overall if you have any similar symptoms or just like realize that your body is becoming weak and shutting down even if it's not severe I suggest you do do an intolerance test because you never know food might be causing all your problems and as I said before I will be doing a skin video later on uh, once I start to see results with this Chinese medicine and my other skincare routine and yeah so make sure to subscribe if you want to check that out later because I will really go in depth I don't really know if this video was helpful but um, thanks for watching anyway and yeah I really do believe that just because a doctor says your problems can't be fixed like you shouldn't stop trying and there's a reason for everything I really believe that my digestive problems are the cause of every other problem and once I fix that then I shouldn't have any more issues later so yeah don't give up if you're having problems um, just because one doctor said something another doctor might say another thing try the holistic nat natural approach too and do a lot of research my theory is that in the past I took so many antibiotics and that you know completely got rid of the good bacteria as well as the bad bacteria but it got rid of all the bacteria that helps to break down the foods I'm no doctor so like obviously you don't have to listen to me but this is just my theory because I, when I was younger I don't think I was intolerant to anything but also when you're younger it's easier for your body to heal but yeah hopefully one day I can fix this and I know the struggle I know the skin struggle I know the whole like digestive issue struggle so let's get through this together and hopefully you see results and I see results. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you want to know anything else in regards to my health and what I'm doing, then please leave a comment down below. Um, any like requests on videos as well. So I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Bye.